Hello, boys and girls. My name is Otis here, and welcome back to another episode of Oxygen Not Included. Where last time we finished off this second oxygen production. Uh, we have another one over here on this side, and that should sort out our oxygen needs in our base and also for the. Uh, for the suit dogs here, um, some of them are lacking oxygen a bit, but that should come up uh, uh, pretty soon, as now uh, we have dedicated pumps for the lower run and for the upper one, and uh, we also uh, have basically dedicated lines down here. I leave them still connected because probably the next thing that will happen is that we will run out of water here on this side. Uh, we are already uh, supplying water from down here. And this goes down to uh, the, the oil wells as well as uh, up here uh, to this uh, oxygen production so maybe we will run out uh, maybe it will be sufficient uh, but I think with these two water sources we should have enough uh, for the base um, so, um, actually I do not need any more uh, acorns, um, as we have fully set up here our pip farm, we cannot plant any more. Uh, this one could be moved over by one, but I think what we have here that's that's good enough so now on to different projects um, the next big thing will be rockets for that we need uh, quite a bit of steel uh, we do have a problem up here because these ones become too hot. Why is that? Because the steam is too hot. And uh, it is not cooling down, so that's no good. Um, it's here on top, apparently. We do have a layer of uh, polluted oxygen, so uh, this is not working. Which means we will have to wait until this uh, volcano becomes dormant before we can go in there and do anything. Otherwise, it will just be too hot. But then down here we do have a bit of iron uh, lying around here, um, nearly six tons. So we can set up the uh, shipping that I planned out here um, and connect it all the way up here. Um, our refinement so maybe in order to get this actually done uh, we need to up the, the priority a bit and then unfortunately we have to fix this eventually but my guess is it will take a while before we can get to that. 
In the meantime, we might figure out a way here to the top. Shall we just... Yeah, let's build a ladder and just continue up here to see what's there and what's not. Um, I also want to go a bit here on, uh, on this side. to get some bear to the surface um, and make a plan for how we want to lay that part out. Okay, then we can up the priority on the next stretch and that should bring us closer um, to seeing what we are dealing with because what I want is have this absolute layer as low as possible and that will be the place where we have our rocket silo which will go uh, all the way from down here to basically as high as we can build and then left and right we have to protect against the against the uh, the meteors that are constantly uh, coming in uh, from the top so that will take quite a bit of of work to be done and also steel because we need the bunker doors and the bunker doors need to be powered and currently we uh, just manage barely with what we have um, I do not really want to use the uh, petroleum generators too much or even rely on, uh, on coal. So we should find other means. And luckily here on top it is sunny so we can actually uh, place some solar panels. Uh, they do not create a large amount of power per panel it's only uh, uh, 380 watts per panel but we can place it uh, from left to right basically and have quite a substantial uh, power output from them but there's a drawback um, they need access direct access to the sun so the, the bunker doors need to be open and um, if there's an incoming uh, meteor shower um, that's no good because that will destroy our solar panels so setting this up 
requires quite a, a bit of, of work. Uh, but down here, they should have made more progress. Yes, so let's do the rest here. And then we can line up more stuff. Uh, we shall disable auto repair. Disable auto repair. Deconstruct and deconstruct. That's because if we only repair, uh, then the uh, machinery will retain the heat and just break again. So that's. That's no good. And we will have to pump everything out of here. Um, luckily, we still have the pipe going in there. Um, And does that already connect to the power? Yes. So, hmm. maybe uh, because this is 500 degrees, we cannot even. Uh, create this one out of steel because that would overheat as as well so uh, maybe uh, we need to wait for for this to uh, cool down a bit more um, What we could try to do is Yeah, we will we will see how that goes when we open uh, open the wall here. Cause one possibility is pump get in more water to cool everything down. Uh, place in a bit of uh, of uh, ice to do the same thing. But that means we will end up with more steam that we have to uh, to pump out. So we'll make that decision when we when we break the wall there, which will be a, a few cycles away. Um, we'll take the uh, hatchling X and. As it is a few cycles away, uh, there will be more output from the iron volcano and the steam will even get warmer. So that's something we have to deal with and we can create more railing here. this um, and start from the bottom up to here and then from there I think we shall go somewhere here and then up in this wall um, and up there that should work How is our progress here on top? Yeah, that looks promising. So I think we will have our rocket silo somewhere on, on this side. This is this is quite low. So which means we can 
through here. And here it's considerably higher, so if we go over, that's that's a few tiles more on, on this side. But maybe on, on this side we can actually start with the uh, solar panels. Um, so they do not really get in the way of our rocket silo. So let's get up to here at least. And we will see how we proceed from there. How's our progress down here with the, with the shipping? Yeah, the last few rail pieces are being built, which means we can prioritize more. And the closer that gets to the to the actual base, the, uh, the easier it will be. Um, we also have accumulated a bit of uh, plastic, so we can have a few more traps for our morbs. And place them down in our pufflet farm. So let's check on that real quick. Here the three pufflets have hatched and uh, they should start producing uh, some output really soon. Alright, I think last episode was a bit of a long one, so let's make this one a short one to even things out, and I will see you in the next one. Until then, goodbye!